Hey there, Papa's Posse. Don't forget about that QR code. Take it to my eBay, YouTube, and Instagram page. Everything's Archie. Archie's here. Betty's here. Veronica, too. Reggie's here. Hey, Jughead, where are you? We want Welcome back to the channel there, Papa's Posse. Once again, it's time for Papa's Comic Books, Coffee, and more. Today we have Veronica, Archie Comics, number 30, $1.25, back in 1993. Now, this book here is by Dan DiCarlo. One of the stories in here is called No Soap. Now, before we begin, don't forget this book and others are available on my eBay page, Papa's-Comic-Books. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, leave me a comment, tell me what you thought about it, okay? And let's get into it. Ah, Riverdale, the peace and quiet of small-town America. Huh? Pardon me, miss. I don't usually talk to myself, but I'm starting my retirement today. Really? What are you retiring from? For the past 40 years, I've written thousands of scripts for the soap opera Passionville, USA. Hey, that's my favorite soap. It's so passionate. I know. For 40 years, I've written about the people in love, people who are jealous, people angry at each other, people crying over other people, till it got to the ridiculous real life just isn't that passionate. That's why I'm moving here to Riverdale, a nice, normal town with nice, normal people. Well, you've come to the right place. This town is so normal, it will put you to sleep. How wonderful. There she is. Stop the car, Harris. Daddy, wow. Is that your limousine? Veronica, didn't I order you to cut down on your shopping? Yes, you did, Daddy, but then why did you buy 50 pairs of shoes yesterday? I brought them with me, and I want every pair returned to the store right now. Every pair? Why, you don't love me. I do so, Princess, now. There's no need to cry. Ronnie, Ronnie, what's wrong? Tell me, and I'll make it better. Oh, how can I expect my daughter to listen to me when you're undermining my parental authority, Archie? Yo, step aside, Archie. Veronica has a date with me. I'm the one she really loves. No way, Reggie. Meanwhile, that guy is over there watching. Veronica loves me. She loves me. She loves me. She loves me. I'll show you. Bam, bam, bam. You leave Archie alone. What the? Huh? Slam. Bang. Poor Rashi, did Reggie hurt you? Let me kiss you and make it better. You take your tentacles off of Archie, Betty Cooper. If anyone's going to kiss Archie, it'll be me. And if and when, I feel like it. And that's for letting Betty kiss you, you two-timer. She, she hits him. Oh, my goodness. Hang on, Ronnie. I'll take care of Archie for you. Over my dead body. Hey, cheat. My daughter is driving me to the poorhouse. Help. This place is a real-life soap. I'm getting out of here. Looks like the stranger's in a hurry to leave Mildred. Good, we don't need another hotheads in our quiet little town. Hmm. Pals and gals, 10 reasons to subscribe to Archie. It's cheaper than renting a video. How about that? Archie, the cool one. What's up, Archie? Is today some sort of dress-up day at school? No, the airing and the shades are to make me look cool. Cool is in. Yuck, yuck, you look as cool as a bowl of chili in the Sahara. Oh, here comes Archie. Man, that Reg is a real slimer with a Captain Shedder attitude. He's dissed to me. How do you like my bodacious line of patter? Archie, you sound like a broken rap record. You mean I don't sound cool? About as cool as my Aunt Clara from a Dubuque the next day. Jug, I'm batting zilch in that cool department. From now on, I'm going to be just me. Melissa, dig Archie. No pretentious, no special clothing. He's a rebel all the way. Yeah, he's cool. See that? You don't have to dress up to be cool. <gasps> Sonic the Hedgehog? Hmm. I'm walking her. No, I am. It's my turn. I'll carry you to your limo, Ronnie. Sorry, boys, but you'll have to decide who gets to walk me to my limousine. Veronica and I'd like to speak to you if you can take a time out from flirting boys. She's overbooked. You're one of the only students who hasn't done the five hours of community service that all our students are asked to do. Service is for servants, Mr. Weatherby. 
perhaps Veronica, but the library needs a volunteer. Miss Dixie, Miss Dinkle, the library storyteller for 63 years, is recovering from eye strain and laryngitis. I want you to help them out. Me? In the library? How can an exciting young woman like me take the place of Miss Dinkle? Not all librarians are 85 years old, Veronica, but the library is so stuffy and it's full of dusty old books. I'll die of boredom. Maybe so, but it will keep your mind off boys for a while. This is a waste of hot red leather suit, but if I've got to be a librarian, I may as well be a glamorous one. Huh, just as I thought, not a hunk of anywhere, just little kids, elderly people, and nerds. Boring. That's the children's reading room. Oh, the only way I'm going to meet any cute guys here is to look them up in the encyclopedia. Mm, can I help you boys with something? You're the prettiest librarian we ever saw. Will you come with me to the sixth grade prom? Will you be my babysitter? I'm very flattered, but I think your kids are looking for the children's room. That's on the second floor. And will you please not follow me around the library? Oh, miss. Oh, miss. Hmm, Archie and the gang in pet containers. Huh. An Archie series, best in America. Did I miss something there? I'm going back. I'm going back. I think I missed something there. Oh, yeah, I missed this page here. I'm having a bit of trouble with my eyesight. Perhaps you can read the sentence to me. Uh, sure. It says here, uh, it says, Mister, would you be mind putting your head on my shoulder? Say, you leave that young lady alone, Henry. Thank you, but I can handle this. Why would this pretty young girl want a 91-year-old geezer like you, Henry, when she can have a young buck like me? I'm only 87. Whoopee, meet me at the park later, sugar pie. We can feed the pigeons together. I don't believe this oof. I beg your pardon, miss, if you work here. Uh, I sure do. Perhaps you can help me find some books on my research. I'd be happy to. My science group, the Fun with Fungus Club, is doing a study on parasites. We need some books on slime mold. We would like you to join our club. We'll elect you Miss Fungus. Parasites, slime mold, I want out of here. I think I'll pop into the library and see how Veronica is doing with her volunteer work. Oh, no. Veronica's gotten worse. Now she'll flirt with just about anybody. Okay, now we go on to this. Picture perfect. You there, with the funny hat. When I cue you, start to eat. Wait, hold it. Don't move anyone. I guess they're filming a commercial here. Get a good close-up, Joe. Ready? Three, two, one, action. Cut, good, smack. Don't just... Not just good, delicious. Okay, crew, let's set up the next shot. Have the overhead camera pan the group playing volleyball. Now, there's a good candid shot. Bring a camera over here. Yes, ma'am. Hey, you two at the table, look this way and wave. Perfect, thanks. Look, here comes Miss Lodge. Videotape her walking past her friends. Is that okay with you, Miss Lodge? <clears throat> yes, of course. You're the director. Smile at them. Super cut. Hi, Archie. Hi, Betty. This really irks me. Don't be mad, Betty. You know rich people have their own way of doing things. I know, Archie, but it bugs me when Ron throws a picnic at her house and, <clears throat> excuse me, and hires professionals to make home movies of the event. <clears throat> it was only a home movie. Archie and Worry Flurry. Whenever I'm at the beach, I always worry about two things, sharks and tidal waves. Archie, that's dumb, real dumb. I know it's silly, but I can't help myself. Actually, there are two things you should worry about at the beach. What? What? A pair of handsome lifeguards. And they take the girls away. <clears throat> Turtles, classic. <gasps> Be a super mutant. Here we go. Riverdale skating rink. Sign her up. Yo, Ronnie, I thought you hated every sport but shopping. Maybe she just can't make up her mind, Reggie. I'll play on Veronica's team any day of the week. I'm trying to look athletic for a reason, people. The producer of my favorite primetime soap, Palm Springs 00000, is coming here to Riverdale to look for new faces. 
Hey, Archie, find out if he's looking for funny faces. I'm having photos taken, which will show off my star quality. Then I'll put the photos on billboards all around town so the producer is sure to see them. Cool, I'll put my face on a billboard and get covered and get discovered too. <clears throat> Forget it, Betty. Daddy owns all the billboards in town. The most you can put on a billboard is your fingerprint. I'll need one of your boys to rush my photos to the printer this afternoon. I'll be there, Ronnie. And then later. Well, guys, do you think these photos will attract attention? Veronica Lodge. Ooh, look at all those, huh? At 10 feet high, they'll be hard to ignore. Hey, where did you get that box of old photos? Oh, I was looking for some old photos to use in the billboards, but then I decided to take new ones instead. Some of these are pictures of us as kids. You were really cute, Ronnie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ha, ha, ha. Here's a photo of you getting mad when you lost me, in the, lost me in a game of checkers. And here you are when your front baby teeth fell out and making magpies. Mud pies. Yo, Ronnie. While Knucklehead is reliving his wasted youth, how about letting me run those billboard shots over to the printer for you? I think I'll let Archie take them. He said nicer things about my photos than you did, Reggie. Thanks, Ronnie. Don't forget to remind the printer that the billboards must be put up overnight. The producer will be in town tomorrow. Okay, Ronnie, I'll hurry over there. Archie, my man, let me prove that I'm not a sore loser. Get my car from Ronnie's garage and I'll drive you to the printer. It's a deal, Reg. <laughs> now I'll just replace these new photos with some old ones and Veronica will replace Archie with me. Hurry, Reg. I can't wait to see the billboards. This is the next day. Don't worry, Ronnie. That TV producer is going to know who Veronica Lodge is. Look, there's the first one. What? That's not the photo I took. It's me as a little girl. Gee, I wonder what happened. Oh, wow. These are all pictures of you as a kid. The photos must have gotten mixed up. How could you do this to me, Archie? If only I had another checkerboard to hit you with. Maybe the last billboard came out all right, Ronnie. That shows you some dazzling smile. I hope so, Archie. It may be the last time you see me smiling. Archie, you idiot. I don't mean, I don't need a checkerboard. Ow, but Ronnie. And then later. Shut up, Archie. Thanks to you, I can never show my face in this town again. But Ronnie, Veronica, a TV producer loves your billboards and wants, you, wants to star you in your own show. Archie, did you hear that? I'm going to be a star. Hey, wait just a second. How about throwing some gratitude my way? I'm the dude who mixed up the photos. You mixed them up, Reggie? Sure. I, I knew that those photos of you as a kid would grab everyone's attention. Veronica, the producer, would like to speak to you. Hello? Yes, this is Veronica. You want to star me in what? Uh, thank you, but uh, I'm not interested. Goodbye. Ronnie, how can you turn down a big chance that I helped you get? Don't you want to be a star? Yes, Reggie, I do but not in diapers. Hmm. Well, that was Veronica, number 30, $1.25, back in 1993. Hope you enjoyed that little reading. Now, don't forget, this book and others are available on my eBay page, papas-comic-books. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, okay? Leave me a comment. And as Papa and Veronica always say... That was easy. Until next time, Papa is out.